Hey everybody, you're listening into Dr. Burst, and this week we are looking back at my recent vlog video of a trip from Beijing in 2019, around October. Um, yeah, just want to kind of have a little look at what we kind of got up to in our t short time over there. We were only there for about a week, but had the opportunity to do a little bit of painting and explore the city. So, yeah, main thing I guess is... We were invited um, over there to an event called Meeting Neighborhood. Uh, it's an event hosted by a Chinese writer from Beijing called Ansi. And he's part of a crew called ABS Crew with some super dope, dope writers in there. And they basically, you know, are masters of the production over there in China. And so with this particular event, it's, I believe it's their second or third year running it. And they've done a killer job. And you'll see that with the event here, they've they've really decked it out it's a very professional event and i would say about third anywhere between 25 to 35 writers and it was quite interesting because what they basically had as part of this event it was kind of a hip-hop style event where they had the four elements but they actually bought in some different things as well so they had things like skateboarding um, they also i know had some basketball as well as the kind of graffiti element and also had people painting um, on the outdoor, uh, outside and the indoors, but also had uh, aspects of basketball and uh, what else was there? There was DJing and a really super dope exhibition on the inside. So the event itself actually, I would say, ran for two days. And then there was a third day, which was kind of organized or another kind of event, which was delivered off site um, by NC shop, which is called 400 mil, which is also one of the first uh, graffiti stores in China. So you'll see here that, you know, all of these guys are totally um, still in that kind of world of hip hop and is, is deeply ingrained into the culture over there. And graph art is very much still part of the, the elements over there. One of the super dope things that they had as well as as part of this kind of overall event was this uh, really massive exhibition which was held inside the convention center and man there's such a amazing stalls in there there were you know toys and they had tattoo artists and there was different kind of themed booths um, and it was actually quite interactive where they basically had opportunities for people to enter into kind of little competitions and you basically had the opportunity to win points or prizes and go into drawers and you could win certain things nike had a presence he had some tattoos they weren't doing tattoos but it was kind of just the selling their kind of flash sheets and this part was also kind of interesting uh there was a local or national i guess uh condom kind of company which actually sponsored this part of the exhibition and they basically created a series of different rooms and things which um once again had that kind of overall hip-hop kind of theme running through it one of the main things as well that i got to do as uh, as part of my time there was paint one of the uh, a commissioned car which is pretty cool so in this particular piece i i got to basically have free reign and do whatever the hell i wanted to do but really it was um there's a kind of a series of work which i've been working on which is creating kind of really simple uh, bubble letter kind of graphics uh, but in some ways trying to integrate some more um figurative kind of work with it or, or maybe more like symbols such as like a skull or the batman uh, mixing that with the kind of graffiti aesthetic and kind of just layering it up and and building up different layers so nothing too crazy here but really it was a great opportunity to paint a commission car over there and on this particular car there actually is a wrap over it so it's not like a permanent thing um, but one of the paints that i was using uh, was a brand called one take and the paint was, was pretty pretty decent and um yeah good color range and here this is supposed to be some celebrity um in china i'm not too sure who it was but he ended up, I think, writing his name or doing like a love heart or some sort uh, on the car as well. This, this was the kind of finished product. As I mentioned before, uh, one of the really dope things was to be able to uh, link up with, you know, a bunch of kind of Chinese writers. Uh, this is my, I believe, th third time to China, I think it was. And um, my first time to China, I went to uh, Changsha, Beijing and Shanghai and on all three of those occasions super killer trips 
and uh, it was really great to see the immense amount of talent I guess actually happening over in China and it's something that you don't really get to see because one of the things is that like things like Instagram and Facebook uh, all of those uh, platforms are actually blocked in China so a lot of the artwork I guess you know you unless you've got a VPN you're they're actually not able to share a lot of that work uh, to the rest of the world like uh, compared to other countries so it was really great to see you know firsthand you know the kind of style and um, I guess trends that were kind of happening overseas and I would say that is very much still within the vein of a New York style you know in terms of their traditions and their kind of approaches to what they would paint very hip-hop um, which is cool but uh, yeah, it was it was very really dope, you know people rock some really sick pieces and it actually really reminded me of a, my trip from I think it was 2012 when I went to Changsha and and I went to this kind of meetings of styles event and there were literally like over a hundred Chinese writers painting at this jam and I, I couldn't really believe the amount of people and writers that were actually in the scene there it kind of really blew me away and it wasn't really any different with this particular event the event was fortunate enough to have some international guests, uh, the likes of Bruce from Italy, uh, Zebster, and uh, Fett, they're from Germany. And yes, yeah, um, really great, uh, incredible talent there. And got to link up with some really good dudes. And, you know, take my hats off to people uh, like NC and Scar for really putting on such a killer event and really taking care of us. It was a really killer day. Lots and lots of killer style. And, and what I'm showing you guys really is just a snapshot. I could have made a whole video just showcasing some of the pieces there. Once I finished painting the car, also had the opportunity to paint a wall with Fix, Shuyo and Yok. This particular wall was at the front of the event. You'll see here Fix is painting a piece. Um, they kind of got a little bit of a head start on me, but Fix is one of my crew members from GBAC. Yeah, it's my first time meeting Shuyo and Yok. Both of them are super cool people. Uh, I believe that they are based in New York, but they were currently at that time in, in Asia as well. So it was great to kind of be able to get them along and meet them and collaborate and, and do a wall. So great story, I guess, with Fix. I haven't seen Fix for actually a couple of years. He originally is based in Australia and not all that far from New Zealand for the people watching overseas, but totally different kind of schedules and things. But it was a great opportunity to be able to link up with your crewmates and kind of jam out. So awesome to be able to see him again. One of the really crazy things was um, they had these super fancy cars parked outside um, on this front entrance and kind of to the back of where we were painting. It was actually quite surprising that they would put cars, ex really expensive cars, that close to where we were. Doing that is such a bad idea because I'm rocking all the Astros and things. So there's a lot of offspray that can, that can kind of come with that. But yeah, basically with the wall, we didn't really have any major uh, concept, I guess, uh, with the exception that me and Fix would paint the pieces and Shuyo and Yok would rock the characters. And the way that we kind of approached it really is to have a similar color palette. You know, I basically let them choose, I think, uh, the colors and I kind of just worked with that um, and once again you know taking a bit of a kind of all over approach and working with what we have and yeah that's kind of the outcome. In terms of the process itself most of the piece uh, I'd say about 95 of the uh, 95 percent of the piece it's painted with an Astro fat cap and as I mentioned kind of before this is my first time using one take the I guess overall performance of it is pretty good. Always nice when you've got a black background so you can kind of make the pieces pop. One of the limitations I guess that I had was uh, trying to finish the piece within one day because as previous I was painting the car. Had to try fit in finishing the second piece before, before it got dark.
time for dinner. Yeah, every night at the end of the, the, the kind of event, we had the opportunity to kind of go out for dinner uh, as a crew, but also as the kind of bigger collective. Every night there was like 30, 40 people going out for dinner, so it's pretty massive. Their kind of tradition over there is hot pot. Everything's super spicy. <laughs> Some of the mornings we had an opportunity to get a lift to the spot uh, in other cases we had to uh, find our own way there by walking there it was relatively close to where we were staying um, in terms of our accommodation so really fortunate that they that the organize, organizers helped to pay for all of that but yeah there's a short walk to the to the spot um, which was located in a place called 798 and it's basically kind of like an art dis arts district Basically on day two, we still had the opportunity to paint more of the uh, wall space which was on site at the event. And this time we had the opportunity to link up with my boy Bruce and as well as, as paint again with, you know, people like Fix, Shio Yonyok and there was a couple of other writers up on the lineup. Uh, but it was really actually dope to be able to link up with Bruce again. Uh, he's a person, he's a writer that I've met. Uh, I think it was 2011, I think, from memory. I'm probably wrong, but I uh, had an opportunity to link up with him in Rome. And yeah, we we managed to paint, I believe, two pieces together. Yeah, it took me, he took me to this killer spot and we spent about two hours painting something. It was super dope. And then another wall that we did, we actually managed to uh, do a bit of a collaboration. It was supposed to be something super quick, but we ended up kind of spending a little bit longer on it. But yeah, that was a really dope experience to be able to link up with him and kind of see him again after nearly 10 years. Um, same thing with Fix, you know, as I mentioned before, it's really dope to be able to link up with my mate who I hadn't seen for quite a while. And actually, um, not long after that, uh, I would say in December, so I guess, yeah, about two, two months after that, after this event, you know, I managed to get married, which is really awesome. Got married in Cambodia and got to see Fix again, so he managed to come to my wedding. So managed to see him two times in one year, which is super dope. And I guess one of the things that you find as well is um, that kind of sets in really is the reality of, you know, graffiti and, and what really happens in life. You know, sometimes like life just kind of takes over and everybody ends up becoming super busy. So it's really great to see your friends, especially when the crew spans across, you know, or beyond your own kind of country. Uh, this dude over here, he writes back toe. He just see me sketching up kind of my initial outline. Normally when I'm sketching up the outline, I'm, I start off with something quite dark. Once again, great to have a black background. Um, and then kind of that second outline, I guess you could say, is the one where I'm using like some sort of lighter color just to make sure that I'm really clear with what lines I'm going to be doing. Shuyo and Yok doing a bit of a collab, rocking a bit of a character. Yeah, really, once again, really cool to be able to meet them as well. Um, and they, they came in and just rocked it so hard did some killer work and once again actually in while i uh, while i was in cambodia at the end of the year they also hook, managed to hook um me and some of the boys up with some paint that they had so yeah shout outs to them for helping us out for that particular situation
for people that haven't really watched me paint before, most of the pieces that I paint are really done with Astro Fat Caps. Um, purely because you know you're able to paint a little bit faster and and for me I think once you've kind of got good coverage and when, you, when you've kind of colored in most of your piece you're able to kind of focus on the outline and get all the details and things like that and really work it up and build up the layers whereas for me I think I'm just a little too impatient to use a skinny cap. When I painted this piece I guess I had a somewhat a sketch in mind but really what I've been trying to do uh, with a lot of my work is really try to strip it back and simplify it and then build up the layers and make it a little more technical kind of on the wall as I go rather than on, on the bit of paper and once again you're never really knowing what it's going to become until you're kind of going through the process and painting it so I definitely say aspect of it is definitely freestyled particularly with the colors it's freestyle because often I'm put in a situation where I have to kind of work with what I've got um, so you, I don't always have the luxury of being able to pick out the color scheme that I want Another thing that I guess um, that I try to find a balance with is is that kind of contrived line but then also the kind of like fat flare astros where you can kind of see a bit more kind of character in the line work and really essentially it's always a balance between the, the curves and then the lines and also a balance of shapes really that's really all, all it is. What you can see here is I'm starting to try balance out the colors a little bit kind of give it a bit more of an equal distribution. You guys should definitely check out Shoyo and Yok on Instagram. They have some killer um, character work that they do. Yeah, super dope characters, and I really love their installation work. And also, I know that they've recently been doing like some carving of sorts. That stuff's super dope. Doing a bit of a blend, kind of a bevel, laying down that base color there. And one thing that I kind of like doing as well with graffiti is that it always feels kind of performative and quite full body. You know, you really have to like get into it with the lines and everything. My, my preference is actually paint bigger pieces than this. Uh, this is obviously a little bit cramped, but you kind of make it work because there's so many different writers painting on the wall at the same time. One of the kind of details I like doing is painting um, 
this kind of like vapor or trail or smoke just to kind of trail out the colors a little bit rather than making them so stagnant and flat. For those that don't know, as well as uh, repping GBAC, I also rep TMD. So those two uh, crews originally from New Zealand, but also have kind of spanned into other countries. And here you'll see I'm just doing a little bit of a sparkle. Apologies to Bacto for clipping his piece with a sparkle. It's the walkway highlight. Super dope piece by Bruce. You guys definitely need to check him out on Instagram. Show you on Yacht, little collab. Love the fill designs and the kind of brick 3D. Kill effects piece. It's my piece there. Great work. Love the fills. And super dope piece from Zebster and Fit. Once again, end of day two, we're heading out to dinner um, with the whole kind of whole group of people. Super kind of them to pay for everything. Got my boy Fix here rocking a little bit of a chromey in one of the car parks. Chrome was dope. You can't beat chrome on a brick wall. You know that it's always going to pop. I can't remember um, how long Fix has been in GBAC for now, but He's, he's put in a lot of work and I I know that I've done a couple of trips with him uh, One of the main trips, you know, you guys should check out is another video where it was me, Fix and Haz We basically went to Taipei and that, so that was one of the trips uh, quite a while ago I'm not sure if it was 2011, but that was a super dope trip and we also had went to uh, Osaka and somewhere else But the Taipei video is uploaded on, on this channel, you guys should check that out On day three, uh, we are really close to kind of wrapping up the event. And yeah, once again, outside uh, NC Stork or 400 mil is this kind of lot within 798, which is kind of once again, the art district. And they've literally got walls like along this whole space. It's a massive place. Used to be a military base apparently. And yeah, it's just plastered with graffiti. So they've got a bunch of legal walls there. So if you guys ever head over to Beijing, it's super dope. Uh, it's definitely worth hitting them up and they'll be able to hook you up with the paint. Um, and I'm sure they'll be able to suss you out a spot or something. So here with my markup, really, I'm just spacing out the letters. Once again, start off with, with kind of like a rectangle box just so that I get the spacing right. And 
there is a little bit of a limitation on time for me because uh, before sunset I had to head out to go check out this uh, kind of temple I guess. Had to kind of rush the painting a little bit but that's alright. I uh, had the opportunity to paint with uh, Shuyo and Yok and Mask. My kind of thought process for this particular piece was um, each color would use a little bit of the color from the previous piece. So essentially I was, um, like for example, this kind of pinky purple, I'd, I'd put that into the 3D of the first letter and then kind of uh, next letter would be the fill and then whatever color I use next would then inform the next part. A little bit different from my normal pieces, uh, the letters are kind of more stacked and kind of like sitting on top of each other. So each one has a little bit of a drop shadow, but it's a really hard edge drop shadow. 798 is really a place that kind of shows to me that an arts district can really work and in New Zealand at least I know that we're actually a little bit behind and we don't really have that so lots to learn from this particular space. I wish they would make better, uh, more opaque yellows. One of the uh, tips or techniques that I've seen Cantu use in the past, he actually layers like a can of white spray paint down first before he puts the yellow on top, uh, often because yellow is a little bit transparent. So that's kind of a little technique that he uses to make sure that the yellows are nice and strong, kind of punchy. One of the things I think I love about painting letters is just being able to cut into the shape, really dissect it. You know, you're starting off with a kind of basic form, but it's kind of like, what can you do with that form? How can you stretch it? How can you push it and pull it? How can you chop into it? Uh, I think particularly with a lot of my 3D works that I've done on the computer digitally on SketchUp, you know, like where I'm making 3D models and things, a lot of that technique is really just pushing and pulling shapes. But particularly when I'm painting on the wall, one of the main things I'm doing really is starting with a relatively simple shape and then just really chopping into it. When I'm using the Astro Cap, it's something that kind of gravitates towards uh, me being able to come to a fine point, uh, so something fat to thin. Really trying to see what I can achieve with that particular cap and those kind of shapes. Thank you. 
getting my double can action on. One thing that would be incredibly amazing if I, is if I could paint my pieces with both hands at all times. I think that might be something I need to try. I know that in the past Rhyme actually is right handed, um, but he, I think he tried to paint a piece, whole piece with his left hand and that piece still came out pretty killer. I think that would be a really interesting challenge to paint with both hands. Here I'm basically adding an aura or a key line around my piece. I'm kind of doubling down on it, making it super thick, thick and chunky. So I've got a um, two grays to kind of complement the background, um, so that the focus is kind of remaining on the piece. But yeah, I really encourage if people wanting to do super chunky pieces, do a big aura. You know, I know a lot of people use use the skinny cap and doing something super skinny, but don't be afraid to do something super chunky. Re I think it will really kind of make your letters pop out. I think one of the beautiful things with um, traveling and being able to attend things like jams is to that you actually really get the opportunity to see how other people paint. If you guys can, you know, you, you, I encourage you guys to attend as many events as you can uh, and really take a moment to see how people flex, you know, because um, often when you go to a jam, it's so easy to just kind of go do your own thing and just pain and just go hard uh, and you actually miss out the opportunity to see how people do such dope work. So for me I'm really fortunate that my wife came along on this trip and she's obviously film, filmed everything and so while I'm kind of painting she's kind of captured everything but right now I have an opportunity to kind of review and guess see what everybody uh, did and how they did it you know and really kind of break down that process. And here's just a little sign out for my cousin and his wife, Jordan and Ting, who are people that live in Beijing. Got a chance to catch up with them. That dragon looks super dope. So Xiu Yu and Yok, they're also from a crew called Thirds, which is originally from Australia, but there's quite a few members from different places now. Final piece from Mask, such a dope character. Kind of an MF Doom b-boy character, b-boy spray can character. So my piece there, Zipster, Fit.
and I think it was on the last day I had a little opportunity to check out the city do a little bit of sightseeing thank you so much to Jordan and Ting for showing us around and being so hospitable 